Hello, my name is Kain Sound Munonye. I'm the software engineer. And today we are going to look at how to delete a record in Entity Framework with MVC. So this is the number four in the series of videos that have discussed or handled Entity Framework with MVC. Before now we, we looked at how to select display data, how to insert, how to update the record now we are going to look at how to display a record so if you have not watched the previous ones maybe this time you you try to watch the previous videos in the series so let me stop this thing and then we go ahead to open the application we've been working with and that is this all right so uh, opens up and when it opens we go ahead to run it so that we see exactly where we stopped so I'm going to click uh, okay so just go ahead to click this just hold on okay that's fine so click and then wait for it to run so that we'll be up to speed from where we stopped in the previous video. Alright, we we'll wait for a couple of seconds. When it opens up, go to this link, then it displays a list of records. For now, we'll be able to create new, we'll be able to uh, edit, but we are not able to delete. So, just to let you know, here I can change from 0 to 1 and save, and that is just fine. But if we go to click, delete, nothing. So let's go ahead to add the, the function to handle this. The delete function is similar to the edit function. It has two uh, action results. One is a get method that displays the record to delete. The second one is a confirm delete uh, function that deletes the record from the database. All right, so let's write the first one. And the first one is use the HTTP get method to display the record to delete http get public action results the name action results the delete and then the id of the record to delete and then i'll just say uh, find this record it just says uh, relative relative equals context dot uh, relatives dot find by now you should be able to understand how this works and then you just go ahead to return the view with this particular with this particular model that has been found so you see return uh, it's not redirect to action return view relative okay so this first method is going to display the record for deletion so if I go ahead to run this thing go ahead to save if I go ahead to run it if I click on the oh I've not added the view okay so let's go ahead to run it anyway though it's not gonna work because I've not added the view so see what is gonna happen the controller is there the model is there but the view is not there so we go ahead to click the error message shows there is no view alright so to add the view is simple you just right click on the method and just go to add view 
and that does it. It recognizes the view name as the action or result function name. So the template is delete and same uh, model class and add. And that is just fine. Scaffolding there, generating the view, the necessary codes, and then save this thing and I proceed to the run it. So if everything goes well, we click on the delete link, we're able to see the record and it's asking us to confirm delete. Alright, so if I go to relatives it gives, gives me the list of items. Now. now I click on delete and this is what happens. Alright, so now if I click on, oh everything is messed up. Okay, we'll get back to that. So delete, nothing. So let's add the actual code in the controller to handle the delete. So pay attention to this. Uh, maybe we'll just copy this. It's also going to be HTTP post method. Control V. Just call it delete confirmed. Alright. It's also using the same int ID. So now in the post, because we are not going to add another view, so just specify that the view that is gonna be used is going to be the same view with this delete. So how to do that? To specify two action results, I use the same view. Just specify that uh, action name. Action name is delete result. That is what you are going to do. Instead of to add a different view there. So what we are going to do now is we'll say. Uh, relative relative let's find the particular uh, uh, the particular record using the ID equal to context dot relatives dot find ID and that is just fine so the next thing we are going to do we just go ahead to delete it context dot Entry relative dot remove. Sorry, sorry, that is not it. Dot relatives dot remove. Ah, uh, relative. Okay, so this handles the actual deletion of this record from the database. And after I save the changes, then we are going to redirect to action. So this is a code that handles the particular delete action. So let's go ahead to see if it does work. Alright, so go ahead to run this thing and then I'm going to try to delete an item, confirming it and see if it works. So if I click on delete for the first one and I go ahead to delete, it's gone. <laughs> but now this details is not there. It's not there. So let's just quickly add the details view. So go back to the controller and then this time I'm adding the very last one. And that is the details. Public action results details uh, int int id alright so I'm going to inline everything so I'll just say context no I'll say return view right uh, context dot relatives dot find id and that is ok so if I go ahead to add a view there, 
is going to be details it's going to use the same model class now I'm not using a layout page here let me specify one alright so I'm using this layout page and this one okay so just for this let me look at the view okay it's not using a layout page that's a problem it's not using a layout page but no so let's go ahead to run this and see how it works so now we should be able to delete edit and view the details alright so relative okay uh, delete details and that is just fine deletes works uh, delete works no I did not use a layout page here that is why this is placed like this and that is just fine so we've been able to handle the crude operation the create the read the 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 updates and the the delete operation in MVC with entity framework and I hope this video is informative has been informative for you so this ends this series of video on um, crude operations in, in MVC with entity framework the nice series of videos we are going to handle how to filter data how to source data how to uh, use a link to handle data operations. My name remains Kain Son Mononi. I'm the software engineer. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please leave comments, subscribe to my channel if you've not done so.